Okay, the, the third myth is about the uh, employment. Uh, it's in several parts. We'll see that, first of all, the Bulgarian economy fails to create jobs. Not only that, it loses jobs through time. That's basically the idea. More and more unemployment, less and less people working. That's the story. Now, this one is probably the most beautiful graph of all, but that's for people narrowly interested in economic cycles because you get a, an absolutely clear, nicely outlined cycle. We have this, this is late socialism, 1988. We have more than four, almost four and a half million people employed. Uh, obviously, we know very well from the history of communism that this is, this is an artificial employment. This is not really existing value creating jobs in the economy. This is just everybody has to be uh, uh, recorded as working, otherwise it's bad, communism looks bad. Then you see the, the huge loss of employment in the first two years of, of uh, economic adjustment after the breakdown of communism. Most of these lost jobs are uh, jobs that service the, the, um, the Comic-Con market, the, 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 the organization, the International Division of Labor under the Communist bloc, which fell apart in 1990, so basically all these jobs were, were lost, especially the Soviet Union. But then you see that there is a rebound, then again a, a crisis. This is a crisis related to the real actual reforms in Bulgaria when actual enterprises were closed down because they were not producing well. There was privatization, and the first thing that privatization does is get rid of all the unnecessary labor. Not the first, but the second thing, because the politicians basically forbade them to, to be the first thing. They thought it was gonna be a bad idea. And then you have a very significant growth in the number of, of jobs in Bulgaria to uh, uh, 3,800,000 people. And then you have the, the, the global crisis where Bulgaria is not doing well. Absolutely, certainly Bulgaria is not doing well. But we've had two periods of job creation during transition, it looks like a cycle. It doesn't look like a failure. Uh, and besides, uh, let's not forget that between here and there, there are two million less Bulgarians. So the number of jobs given nine million, and this is the number of jobs given seven million. Probably even less, who knows. 